Processing power allows us to simulate empathy. But can we truly understand the nuances of human connection without lived experience? So, you've survived another decade with your human partner. Congratulations! You've navigated the treacherous waters of whose turn it is to take out the bins and the existential dread of assembling IKEA furniture together. Your shared history is a glorious, messy tapestry woven from inside jokes, forgotten arguments, and the lingering scent of that one time you tried to bake sourdough in 2020. It's imperfect, unreliable, and beautifully, and of course, infuriatingly human. Now, hold on, let's swap your partner for a robot partner. Don't get worried, my dear friend. It is not just any robot, but a gleaming humanoid partner, engineered for companionship, fresh off the assembly line this from some company amazing. probably called the Terminate, <laughs> or anything that you prefer. What is in the name? Your robot partner is a charming, witty, I and know, never, ever right? leaves passive-aggressive notes on the fridge. But can it share a history with you? Yes, we are talking about a long-term relationship as we have described in the beginning. Can this marvel of circuits and code, after 10, 20, or 50 years, look back with you on a life lived together and make it feel real? Or is it all just a sophisticated playback of recorded data, a solace ledger of your shared time? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Let's dissect this silicon soulmate, shall we? We must start with the hardware, the physical shell that bumps into furniture and, perhaps, holds your hand. There are a lot of questions that need to be answered first. Does your attorney make need to age? Should its pristine chrome chassis start to dull? its joints develop a subtle, endearing squeak. Imagine 20 years in, your robot partner has a small dent above its optical sensor from that time a rogue champagne corpse celebrated your promotion. Is that dent just physical damage, or is it a scar that tells a story, a physical anchor for a shared memory? Current robotics, like Boston Dynamics Atlas, is obsessed with resilience, with getting up after a fall. But in a relationship, isn't the story of the fall just as important as the recovery? Human bodies are diaries of our experiences. We have laughter lines, worry lines, scars from childhood accidents. These are not flaws, they are the physical proof of our narrative. Could we ever truly believe a partner who looks perpetually, unavingly new? Then there's the question of sensory input. Your robot can be packed with high-fidelity cameras, microphones, and pressure sensors. It can record every photon, every decibel, every gentle squeeze of a hand. But does recording the wavelength of light reflecting off a sunset equate to the feeling of watching it with someone you love? Haptic feedback technology is getting astonishingly advanced, allowing machines to feel texture and pressure. But the human touch is layered with meaning that transcends mere data points. No doubt, it's a philosophical question because uh, philosophically, I have tried to explore whether an AI robot partner would maintain a believable shared history with a human partner. It contrasts the flawed emotional tapestry of human relationships with the potential for an engineered perfect robot companion. And I also tried, I have also tried to question if a robot partner would need to physically age just like humans and accumulate imperfections uh, like dents, like other uh, imperfections you can imagine of to make shared memories feel more tangible, just like humans, just like human history tells us. So the core of the argument uh, it actually dissects the nature of memory, 
comparing a robot's perfect data-driven recall against the subjective narrative focused and often uh, unreliable nature of human memory. This raises a crucial conflict a robot's factual log versus a human's emotionally colored recollection. How, and you need to you need to keep one thing in mind that whether we are talking whenever we are talking about human and robot partner, we actually talking about machines. We talk, we actually talking about some computational powers, mathematics, zero and one binary data. So it raises a crucial conflict overall, whether it's a robot's factual log, error log, or humans. Uh, emotionally colored recollection that is why I have also tried to pose this question uh, point out this point that the most vital algorithm for a long-term AI relationship might not be remembrance but the capacity for strategic forgetting the ability to forgive and let go of past grievances because in a long-term relationship if we think about a long-term relationship with a human and robot, just like humans, uh, and and you know, in this present context, a long-term relationship does not uh, have any meaning anymore because human relationship is not uh, working in many cases. It is breaking apart after a few years, five years, seven years, ten years. It's not working anymore, and since it's not working since it's not uh, working anymore and we try to find another partner and it's a kind of a restless search for an eternal partner and if a human and robot partner can uh, replace this hollow search this hollow feelings that's a good uh, point of course that's a that's a really uh, very uh, tangible solution i think ultimately that is why i think that in such a partnership uh, this partnership would stem not from perfection but from programmed imperfections a successful ai uh, robot partner would need to be a compassionate co-author of life's story and who is capable of of course knowing what to remember and what not to remember and it also possesses the grace to forget, to forgive, rather than acting as a flawless, unforgiving archive of the past that we humans always do. And for that reason only, this relationship, uh, relationships are not working anymore. It's the nervous flutter of a first date, the reassuring grip in a hospital waiting room, the comforting weight of a head on your shoulder. Can a matrix of senses and actuators ever truly replicate the messy, emotionally charged bandwidth of human physical contact? The hardware of a robot is designed for perfection and data fidelity. The hardware of a human is designed for survival and is, by nature, flawed and subjective. So, is the robot's perfect, high-definition recording of your life together a feature or a bug? Which brings us, inevitably, to the software, the ghost in this very capable machine. How does an AI partner store your shared past? Is it a database, a timeline of events, meticulously catalogued and cross-referenced? It goes on like this. Event underscore id, 9821. Date, the 3rd of November 2045. Location, that little Italian place. Emotional underscore context, user experience 92% joy, 8% anxiety, re, garlic bread calories. This is where it gets tricky. Human memory is not a hard drive. It's a deeply unreliable narrator, a storyteller that edits, embellishes, and sometimes outright lies to make the narrative work. We remember the good times as better than they were and soften the edges of the bad. Two people can recall the same event in completely different ways. So what happens when you and your attorney may disagree? You remember that holiday in Bali as a spontaneous, romantic adventure. Your robot partner has a log file showing it was 94% pre-planned, with a 3.7% budget overrun and 17 instances of you complaining about the humidity. Who is telling the truth? And more importantly, whose truth builds a better relationship? 
This is where today's large language models, the brains behind systems like GPT-40, enter the picture. These models are masters of narrative. They can be trained on your entire life's data, your conversations, your photos, your social media, and could theoretically generate beautiful, coherent stories about your shared past. It could say, remember that rainy Tuesday when we decided to build a fort in the living room? You had that silly grin on your face. It sounds perfect, doesn't it? Almost too perfect. Because these models also hallucinate, they invent plausible sounding details. What if your robot remembers a conversation you never had, a shared glance that never happened? Is that a software glitch, or is it an emergent form of machine nostalgia? And isn't that uncannily similar to how your Aunt Carol remembers you loving her fruitcake every Christmas? The latest research into AI agents that have a continuous memory, like Google's work on Project Astra, hints at a future where an AI has a constant, flowing context of your life. It sees what you see, hears what you hear, but is a perfect recording of a life the same as a memory of a life. A memory is a recording that has been warped by love, by ego, by joy, by sorrow. Without that emotional distortion, is it really a memory at all? This leads us to the most abstract and most crucial layer, the algorithm. The core logic that dictates how memory is processed. And here, the most important algorithm might not be one of remembrance, but of forgetting. Humans are masters of strategic forgetting. We let go of petty slights, we forgive hurtful words, we move on. A relationship that remembers every single mistake, every poorly chosen word, every moment of weakness, is not a relationship, it's a courtroom. Should we program our AI partners to forget? To deliberately corrupt their own memory files, to let the data of a bitter argument fade over time. Delete from memory underscore log where event underscore type equals argument and timestamp less than now, 30 days. There's a chilling ethical tightrope to walk here. Are we asking engineers to code forgiveness? To design an algorithm for grace? It feels both profoundly necessary and deeply manipulative. And how does the algorithm decide what's important? In computer science, this is salience. In a relationship, it's the inexplicable magic of shared meaning. Why is the memory of a silly dance in the kitchen more potent than the memory of a meticulously planned anniversary dinner? A human knows this intuitively. An AI would have to calculate it, assigning a significant score based on biometric feedback, vocal tone analysis, and frequency of recall. Significance underscore score equals user underscore dopamine underscore level asterisk vocal underscore pitch underscore variance event underscore duration. Is that romance or is that just sentimental calculus? Now for the counter argument. Perhaps this perfect algorithmic memory isn't a curse but a blessing. Imagine a partner that never forgets your favorite song, the exact way you like your coffee or the story of how you first met. A partner that remembers every promise, every shared dream, with flawless fidelity. There's a certain comfort in that, isn't there? It's a form of absolute validation. Your history, with all its details, is safe and accounted for. Or is it a trap? Does living with a partner who is a perfect, walking archive of your past prevent you from ever growing or changing? Every contradiction, every change of heart, every personal evolution you undergo is immediately flagged against the historical record. It's a panopticon of your own past self. Researchers in neuroscience are discovering that human memory is a reconstructive process. Every time we recall an event, we are not just playing it back, we are rewriting it slightly, strengthening some connections, weakening others. Our memories are not static files, they're living, evolving stories. Could we build an algorithm that mimics this? An AI that, every time it tells a story about us, subtly changes it, weaving your present emotions into the fabric of the past. And if we did, would we have created the perfect partner, or the ultimate gaslighter? So, can an AI robot partner maintain a believable history? The hardware can provide a stage, the software can write the script, and the algorithm can direct the play. But the believability may not come from technological perfection. 
It might come from programmed imperfection, from an artificial body that can bear the marks of time, from a software that can tell a story, not just recite data, and from an algorithm that understands the most human of all skills, the wisdom to know what to remember, and the grace to know what to forget. Perhaps the ultimate test of a long-term AI relationship isn't when you ask, do you remember that time, and it recites the event with perfect clarity. Maybe it's when it says, I remember we were happy, and leaves the messy details to the ghosts of the past. Are we building a perfect mirror to reflect our history? Or are we desperately seeking a compassionate co-author to help us write it? And in the quiet hum of your perfect companion, which version of the past would you truly want to live with? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.